Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Turtle Boat, and you're watching an episode of Drawing Time with Turtle Boat. Uh, today, in this episode, we're going to be going over how to draw this illustration that I've done. Uh, so, my new logo, uh, as you might have noticed, is also the logo that appears in the in the front. You know what I mean? Like, the shit kind of bobs up and down. So, all right, man, without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. All right, so what's going on here is I am using a dip pen, a spoon pen to be more exact, to go over my pencil sketches. A uh, spoon pen is a very popular pen that's in use uh, mostly in like uh, Korea, Japan, possibly China. Um, the good thing about a dip pen is that basically you can do uh, very fine line variations from thick to dark, dark, you know, thick to light, light to thick, excuse me. Um, I, I do use a micron later on, but microns are mostly reserved, in my case, for like, you know, for finer details, you know what I'm saying? Um, like mechanical stuff or for the zipper, for example, here. Um, but yeah, man, I basically like to use a more of a traditional method when it comes to pencil and ink. I know a lot of people usually these days just use the Wacom, Wacom, however the fuck you pronounce that, uh, for, you know, for the whole shebang. But I do like to keep it traditional, at least for the pencil and ink stage. It does get annoying because you have to erase everything, right? And then you got all this fucking eraser... Uh, dust, and you gotta like swipe that shit off the table, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do, huh? So yeah, as, as you as I've said before, I am using the micron here to uh, basically going in more of a detail. And here I like to point out this process is called filling in the black. I know it sounds racist, but I didn't fucking make that term up. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but basically, filling in the black is you set aside a certain parts of the drawing to basically fill it in completely black with ink. All right, and the important part about that is, you know, it gives the drawing a certain uh, mood, a certain heaviness to it. Because any drawing that you do, you know, there's a light to dark variation, right? And there's the lightest lights and there's the darkest darks. And you always need to identify the darkest darks to kind of like hold the drawing in place. It's kind of like, you know, um, the sun has, you know, with the solar system. Uh, anyhow, this is how it looks. When I scanned it in, I cleaned it up, you know, with the fucking uh, Photoshop tool. And for the coloring, I like to point out that um, I like to first of all put like a fucking see where the light is gonna come through from, as you can see over here. So I like to kind of point out where the light's gonna come from, so that you know it's easier to tell which part's gonna be light, which part's gonna be dark, right? And I do that, and then I separate basically the colors into three separate layers. I have a light layer, a medium, uh, like a medium tone layer, and then like a dark layer. And what I also like to do is use reference photos from like old uh, Akira, Akira Toriyama drawings, like from Dragon Ball, early Dragon Ball days. Um, it gives you like that earthy feel, you know what I mean? Like that melancholic, but earthy, kind of like, you know. Make sure you remember back in the day, right? Eating an ice cream, eight years old, walking down the street to the playground. All right, that got off topic. Anyhow, um, so yeah, man, first I was trying to have the dragon in different colors. It's always good to kind of test out the different colors um, to see how it would look like. And um, yeah, man, I was trying to see like how the fucking dragon would look as a red dragon. The Red Dragon, coincidentally, coincidentally, is also the name of the ship from Rush Hour 2, where James Carter is trying to sneak on a board to, uh, what was he trying to do in that ship anyway? All I know is that he was talking to that uh, hot-ass fucking Spanish lady, Rosario Sanchez, I forget her name, but man, yo, she was fucking hot, bro. She had like, oh my god. And then like he was like, yeah, yeah, this is my ship. And she's like, you're the, you're the fucking, you're the, hey, you're the owner of this ship. And he's like, yeah, I'm the owner of this ship. But it wasn't, you know, he was obviously bluffing. Yeah, that's a very uh, trivial fact about Rush Hour 2. Anyhow, yeah, man, I'm like, you know, over here, I'm like basically setting in the mid-tones for his skin. Um, trying to uh, figure out where it would be light, where it would be, it would be dark. And as for the arm, arm... <laughs> That's where the arm over here, you know, is obviously his left arm is in the back. So, you know, if it's, it's in the back, you want to have more of a shadow tone to it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, man. And then over here, the dragon part, 
Um, I was having, I was kind of having difficulty because I was like, all right, where the fuck does the dragon start and where does the turtle start, right? So, yeah, I was kind of having difficulty with it, but I figured it out eventually by looking at um, reference photos of uh, Blastoise, because Blastoise is kind of like a, it's kind of like a dragon. It's like a turtle dragon kind of guy, and um, you know his color scheme is really simple, and that's like the genius of his design. He only has like three colors, but you immediately know it's him. And you know that he's like a, some kind of turtle, right? So I was trying to uh, kind of like look, look to that as reference, you know? It's always good. It's always good to have reference for, you know? And uh, I don't know. I like Blastoise. Blastoise is pretty cool. I mean, I like Ivysaur a little more. I mean, I always like, you know, when I was like picking the first three uh, in red and blue, I always uh, picked Bulbasaur. You know, a lot of people shit on Bulbasaur because he's like a plant, but... I mean, Bulbasaur is so cute, man. Like, you know, he's like, Babasar, you know what I'm saying? Like, Charmander, I mean, come on, everybody picks Charmander. He's like a, you know, he's just, everybody just does that. You know, it's kind of like, uh, Charmander is kind of like if, uh, you know, um, it's, Charmander is like running a marathon in your fucking mid-20s. You know what I mean? Everybody's doing it. And yeah, you know, it's like good for you and whatever and blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's like, it's like fucking half peer pressure. You know, that's what Charmander is like. Charmander is running a fucking half marathon in your fucking mid-twenties, okay? But Ivysaur is like, you know, it's like, no, nah, fuck the marathon, man. I'm just going to do my own shit. I don't need to run a fucking marathon, okay? Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is the turtle boat. Um, the name actually is a reference for a turtle ship, which is a very famous Korean warship back in the 15-something led by this guy called Admiral Yi Sun-jin. And this guy's like a fucking national Korean hero. He beat back like 500 fucking Japanese warships with like 13 of his, um, these turtle ships, right? Which was like armored ships that had like a head of a dragon. And the dragon head would like breathe out fire and napalm and like tear gas and all that shit. <laughs> I don't know if they had tear gas, but yeah, man. So that's kind of like a reference. So that's why the head is a dragon. It's also like a reference to like a, a Asian a mythical creature. It has a head of a dragon and, a, and the body of a turtle, but the tail of a snake. It's like a mythical, I don't know the name of it, but I know it's like a mythical creature. And one more thing I want to point out is for, for, the, for the whites, you don't want to, if you want to like have like white highlights and stuff, you don't want to like erase over the whatever drawing, whatever color that you've done. That's like, I used to do that shit because I was stupid. But what you want to do is you want to have a layer on top of it um, for your highlights, right? So, like over here, it looks like it's being erased, but it's actually just like white uh, white color above whatever that I'm drawing, all right? All right, so there you have it, folks. You know, I cover from the sketching, the inking, and all the way down to the coloring. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check me out on Instagram and my uh, series on my webtoon. It is called Mind's Prison. My cat just fucking peed on my beanbag. God fucking damn it. Oh my fucking God. Uh, anyway, alright man, see you guys next week. Peace.